they are humans who have been shrunk by 1,000 times. They thought that after shrinking, they would become billionaires, but to their surprise, Kevin ended up in a slum. The people living here are all forced to shrink. Kevin suddenly seemed to understand something. The world of shrinking is not as beautiful as it seems in fantasies. Here, there are poor people everywhere who have nothing to eat, and many bedridden elderly patients. The nanny at his friend's house works as a caregiver here, taking care of these lonely elderly people. His kindness touched Kevin. He decided to stay and take care of these people with the nanny, to help more people. Kevin found this kind of life very fulfilling and meaningful. One day, his friend took Kevin to meet someone. This person is the doctor who invented the shrinking surgery. The staff showed him their underground vault, filled with large mansions, and various types of flowers and trees. Everything that exists in the outside world, can be found here. Even if the end of the world comes, they can still live in the underground vault for 8,000 years. Now, the doctor decides to take the first group of humans to live in the underground vault. Everyone stood up. They all wanted to be part of the first group. Kevin also wanted to live in the underground vault. But the nanny didn't want to go, because there are still many people in the slum who need help. Kevin reluctantly said goodbye to the nanny. He walked into the tunnel with his suitcase. Looking ahead, not far away, is the exit. Kevin suddenly felt an unprecedented loneliness. He made a final decision. At the moment when the intersection was about to close, Kevin ran back. He returned to the nanny's side. And so, the two of them boarded a plane to the slum. They decided to stay and take care of those in need, to live a simple and ordinary life together.